So finally, now let's get to Othello. Yes. Yeah. What do you think? What, what? I think Othello is one of those plays that nobody ever realizes is only done by white theaters. Cool. Black theater companies do not do Othello. And the prime reason is, is, is what, what is what is at the heart of Othello? What, what, what's it really saying? It says that no matter the culture, no matter the wisdom, no matter the age of a black man, if you put him under stress, he will revert back to a murdering beast. And the thing that he will murder is the pinnacle of white womanhood, which is why they're always casting Desdemona as a blonde and blue. And she's Italian. And don't tell me about how the Gauls invaded northern Italy because it's crap. Right? So, the better you do it as an actor, the more you are, <laughs> you're actively being complicit in pushing that narrative forward. I will be the devil's advocate. And oh, say, please, because the devil needs them. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> Uh, one of the reasons why Iago has the most lines in all of Shakespeare is because it takes that much uh, uh, for a fellow to be pushed to become murderous. So Shakespeare uh, created a fellow as, you know, in the beginning of the play, he's reasonable he's, and he's talked about as being calm headed and reasonable and a great soldier and you know not quick to anger and so it takes Iago all the the largest speaking role in Shakespeare to push someone who is not a uh, 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 murderous to become a murderer all right so does anybody know about black life in 2019 if that's if that's the case mm. okay then I don't know about you mm. but I should like buckle up and go postal now because I think, mm, I think I've had a lot of years of that kind of pressure, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Regardless, it's a great role, mm -hmm. but we we can't. But 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 it's but it's not a black role, right? Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. we have we have actually um, skewed the play, mm -hmm. I believe, in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. and, I, and this is why. If Brabantio comes on the set mm -hmm. and does his stuff saying about this is wrong, you know, mm -hmm. and if we think that he is just a racist bigot, mm -hmm. we're out of, we're, we're in the wrong place in the play. I agree. I agree. I agree. Right? Yeah. So, and, and that's because <clears throat> we have come to accept Mm. The, the black and white paradigm. Mm -hmm. So if I was to direct Othello... Mm -hmm. Which could happen. Which, which could happen, yeah. Maybe. You know, well, it's depends how much so. money they pay me. Mm -hmm. um, if, if, if I was to direct Othello, first of all, no stud muffin Othellos. What's that? What's that Mandingo... That means I can't do it. Oh. I, I know, again you can't do it. What is with that Mandingo thing? Like, why mm. is it every time they do Othello? Stratford again this year. Mm. Why, why is it another brother stripped to the waist so you can see his ripply flex muscles? Come on, who wouldn't want to do him? But that is not Othello. You look at what he says is his life, and he's, what, 35 years old buff Mandingo? Mm. That don't make sense. Mm. Right? So, if I was to do Othello, he'd have to be looking like he is well into his 50s, maybe 60s. Mm -hmm. And Desdemona would look like a 13-year-old bombshell. Mm -hmm. Because nothing squicks people in 2019 than, the, than, a, than a great age, ageist relationship. Mm -hmm. And so if that was the case, because I think Desdemona is a, is a child test driving a woman's body. Okay. And Othello is this older, really older guy. So the mm. age disparity is immediately apparent. And then Brabancho comes in and says, this isn't right. And the audience, I think, would then go and say, you know what? He's got a point. Mm -hmm. And because he has a point, we have woven back in the dynamic that used to be there when everybody was just like out and out racist. Mm. I agree. I wouldn't say that Desimo should be 13, but I, I do think okay, that... Okay, 15. 
I'm 19. But nonetheless, no, I but, think... But, 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 but Andrew, mm. it, it makes no sense why she doesn't go and say, Big O, what up? Mm -hmm. And she goes instead, Amelia, what up? What am I doing wrong? Yeah, right. And the person who does that is somebody who doesn't know what else to do. Mm. She's talking to her nurse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 19 years old? Mm -hmm. What are you talking to your nurse for? I you agree. talk to the brother. Yeah, yeah. And so the only way it makes logical sense to me is that mm. she's too young. She's a perfect age to be married in that society, which yeah. is considerably younger than what we would consider today. Absolutely. And that's the point of doing it that Historically, way. Historically, that's true. To, yeah. to, to, to twist it up. My problem with the play, and I do like, there's language in it that I absolutely love. Um, and there are things about Othello's uh, character um, that I uh, really, uh, and the way in which Shakespeare has written him, there's some great scenes mm -hmm. and some great uh, 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 psychological layers to the character that I really love. I, 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 I have a real problem with it romanticizing violence against women. It just makes it romantic. You it think? Mm. I didn't do it that way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just think it just really sort of makes it uh, this idea that he murdered his wife for love as I just, it's, I think in 2019, it's just not, uh, well, I just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily, I, you know what? Um, I don't, I don't know how far to go down that road. I mean, I, I don't disagree with you, but I don't agree with you. And I, mm. and I don't, I don't do agenda theater. Right. Right, that's that's not my thing. I I I don't do it, Jen. I yeah. don't, you know. Not so, do I really? But, but I just think it's it's just a, oh man, especially doing that last scene with Desdemona. It's it's hard. Mm -hmm. It costs, mm -hmm. and it should. Yeah. So, look, I mean, we could have this discussion about Mer uh, Merchant of Venice. Yeah, right? absolutely. Oh, dude, all of it. So, absolutely. Could you ever see yourself doing Merchant of Venice? Yeah. Yeah, me too. You know, mm -hmm. I'd set it in Lagos or Nairobi, mm -hmm. and it would be all black, and the Jews would be Falasha Jews, and mm -hmm. everybody would like go, what? Because it would take it totally out of context. Exactly. And mm -hmm. you'd go, yes, but they're still Jews. Mm -hmm. I know you may not like Jews, but you don't like, how do we think about black Jews? Mm -hmm. And all, and, and it would be that kind of um, sort of animist Catholicism, which mm -hmm. is, you know, half fetish, half. Catholic, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. all the stuff that the Catholics didn't steal from everybody else and put into mm -hmm. the religion would be like part of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that would be a wonderful way to, mm -hmm. to approach it. And, and, and doing it that way is about the only way that I would ever want to do Merchant of Venice or most Shakespeare, frankly. I'm just, I'm, I'm just not there. Well, and you know, I, I honestly think there should be a bit of, I love Shakespeare. There should be a moratorium on him. Yeah, seven years. Yeah. Just seven give, years, give for time. sure.